just about ready to go on the hill for the White Sox Chris Flexen but Chris he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound well I'll say this every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark in front of their fans in front of the city and you know this guy no different he wants to be more effective here so you, know, you look at the numbers they haven't been great at home I'm sure he wants to turn that around and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one leading off Josh Palacios foul ball there and there's a foul ball up and in and the count is one and two well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A-B going. The 1-2. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Righty delivers. Breaking ball inside. Ball two. Strike him out. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Absolutely dotted the edge of the zone right there. That was a tough battle, man. So to make a really quality pitch and just catch him looking like that, it's got to feel good out there on the mound. That was a fun at bat to watch. Brian Reynolds here. Swing and a miss. Strike one. All one's the count. Righty to the plate. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. In the air, out towards left center. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. That's out number two. Here's the Pirates lineup now. This is one of the best teams in the league when it comes to drawing walks, Chris. So we'll probably see a very patient approach from them. Yeah, Boogie, that's often uh, what leads to a lot of runs scored. You get guys on base, you work that pitch count up for the opposing pitchers, and then you take advantage when they make mistakes, you get into that bullpen. You can tell that everyone up and down this lineup just comes in with a great plan of attack, a lot of patience, just like you said. Rowdy Telez in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. That one missed. Two out spaces empty. Good eye right there. Two one. Next offering is in for a strike. Bounced up the middle, and it's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And here is Nick Gonzalez. There's a swing and a drive. That one hops against the fence. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Turned on that inside pitch nicely and ripped it down the line to pick up two bases. That would be a tough pitch to keep fair, but his timing was great. So to a board and two out, scoreless game. Now batting key Brian Hayes. And that one fouled off. Oh 
Two on, two outs. There's the swing and a miss. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Two outs, two in scored position. Next pitch, not close, up high. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Fouls it off, still one and two. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. And he deals. We got full count. Jack Sawinski in the on deck circle. Ground ball right oh, side foul ball. and foul ball. Bounced out to short to Young. That's out oh. number three. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Now it's the White Sox turn. It's a scoreless ball game. Back here on the south side. And our starting pitcher here today, Quinn Priester. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Now the third baseman, Lennon Sosa. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Just off, off the Wait, inside go, edge. That one misses. And now 3 and 0. Oh. And here it comes. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past, and it's an issue once again early on. And Tandy up here. Run around the move. Ripped to third and caught. Now a throw to first, and he won't get back in time. It's a double play. Batting third. The first baseman. Andrew Vaughn now. Vaughn. First pitch just misses. Count one and zero. Oh. Chop to third. That's the inning. Oh. Scoreless after one. Back at guaranteed rate field. Pitt. Top of the second the at the plate for Pittsburgh. Yeah. Jack Sawinski. Yeah, the right hater back to work. Oh, Just missed. Oh. And the 1 0. Late with the swing there. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. 
pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the pitcher on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make players earn it. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Next one misses. Two balls, two strikes. Two balls, Recognize two that strikes. change up right out of the hand. Just spit on it. The pitch. Okay. Got him. And quickly one away in the second. Here's Joey Bart now. Rip, but it curls foul. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. No score here in the second. In there at the knees, and that's strike two. And another ball. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Two up, two down to the top of the second. Batting it. The shortstop. Jared Triolo. Two outs, base is empty, and the batter will be the shortstop. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Banks off the wall. Now he'll turn for second, and he's in there standing up with a two out double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Man in scoring position with two away. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Michael right. A. Taylor. The Pirates with a chance to score first here at the top of the second. Out towards left center. Jimenez trying to get there. He's got it. And that is that. Pirates leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. Now at the plate, Gavin Sheets. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. That one to first. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting fifth. No left fielder. Here's Aloy Jimenez. Right through there for a strike. One out, base is empty. Line drive, and that's a base hit out of the center field. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Here we go, Paul. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Ball one. Man at first, one away. Oh. Squirts away a little bit. 
and the runner holds. Good hitters count the 2 0. Ground ball left side, and it goes just foul. At the belt and fires. Good eye in that spot. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. So here we go again with the walks. It's been a real struggle finding the zone for him in the past. Now, even if they get out of this jam, these walks add pressure and stress to the entire team. Nicky Lopez in the box now. Take strike one. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Routed to third. Could be two. Hayes tossed to second. On to Telez and the double play ends the inning. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first. And that's the way to end the inning. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game. And now the Pirates leadoff man, Josh Palacios. And a pitch. Palacios, 28 years old, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2016. Down the inside corner for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. Ball one. Next offering is downstairs. One ball, two strikes, McCown. And that one popped to short. And out number one on the grab. The batter, number 10. Next is the Pirates DH, Brian Reynolds. Fly to left his first time. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul back, that's out of play. Why to kick the pitch? In the air, right side. Jokes. Sizing this one up. He's got it. Two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite the barrel it up eight. enough to really drive it. Rowdy. And now it's Rowdy to Les. First nope. offering, and it just misses. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. And that's outside. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, Tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. High fly ball out to left field. Jimenez has it sized up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Home half of the third coming up. No score. And welcome back Where'd to the ballpark. Go? Ready to go time? for the last half of the, the inning. Field. And now the right fielder, Corey Jolks. Yeah. Priester back to work. That nope. one missing Second inside. Down. And Good another ball. ball. No Strike. 
on its way to the corner and that's a foul ball. Slice the other way that's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Batting number. The pitcher. Martin. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. No he's safe. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Still tied at zero, last of the third. Kicks and fires. That pitch clips the outside corner. And it's one and two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Got him swinging for the K. Slider got him for strike three. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. to the top of the lineup Lennon Sosa now at the plate Priester checks the runner and he dives back in safely All right, there at the knees 0 1 Here comes a pitch. Ball. In the dirt. Well done behind the dish. There's a 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Roll to short. Could be two. The throw to second, over to first, no, safe. safe. Well, an aggressive slide at second base, but it was legal. I like it because you're trying to break up the double play, and it looked like the slide impacted the throw a little bit. Nice job by the base runner. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. He's 0 for 1. First offering misses badly for ball one. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Here in the last half of the third. And now it's even up. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Just missed. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Priester picks over, and he dives back in safely. Pitch misses there. Three and one. Andrew Vaughn waiting for a turn at the plate. Hard hit. Left field. Base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. And here's the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. He's 0 for 1. And there's a base hit to the left. Coming home. Fires it to the plate. It's offline, and he scores. On the board first, it's one zip. Well, he comes through clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. First and second. Two outs. Next is the designated hitter, Gavin Sheets. 0 for 1 so far. 
And he grounds one back up the middle. Makes the sliding stop. And that's a great play for the out. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a one nothing ball game. Start of the fourth, and here is Nick Gonzalez. Nick Gonzalez. The wind and the pitch. A big swing and a miss. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. That pitch in for a strike. Oh, a two now. Yeah, that's that skips in the dirt. One ball, two strikes to count. One, two now. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a man on base to start the inning. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Here's the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. Grounded out to short in his first trip. Off the plate inside, ball one. The Pirates trailing by a run, top half of inning number four. And that one fouled off. And the right hander deals. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. Jokes going back on this one. Grabs it right up against the wall. Well, that one ended up a lot closer to home run than I thought off the bat. Clearly didn't get it all. But with that wind blowing out to right, almost pushed that one over the wall. Up next for the Pirates, Jack Sawinski. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Ball one ball. low. Counts one and oh. That's a strike across the top of the zone. One ball, two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Swung on, belted. Way back there. To the warning track, makes the catch. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. This is Joey Bart. On the ground to third, and that chance handled. Gathers and throws to first. Out number three. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. We're midway in the fourth. It's the White Sox one and the Pirates nothing. Here on the south leading side, off. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Aloy Jimenez. Jimenez. And a pitch. That's a little bit low. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Out of here. And they tack on to their lead. It's 2 nothing. 
He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin buried it out of here. So digging in, Paul DeYoung. He reached out a walk his first time. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. That one carrying. Up against the wall and brings it in. The batter, number eight, second baseman. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Lopez. Outfield playing pretty shallow. First pitch misses. And he pumps it a strike. One down, base is empty. And that's outside. One strike. Swing and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Priester checks over to first, and he's back. Now here is Corey Jolks. Popped up. Under it. Brings it in. Now that the catcher, Martin Maldonado. And now it's going to be Martin Maldonado. Went down on strikes his first time through. in for a strike oh, and one. one run across in the frame so far we're here in the bottom of the fourth and that one fouled off to the right side Gonzalez play made that ends the inning but the White Sox get one on a homer. It's now a 2 nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. And we're back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Number 19. The pitch. That one off the mark. 1-0. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Number 33 appears to be getting loose. Number 60 getting loose as well. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. And a count one and one. Here's a high chopper. Vaughn. He handles it himself. One up, one down. The batter, the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. So up next, Michael A. Taylor. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from Aye. being scored, this guy is a big contributor. One down, base is empty. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Vaughn makes the catch. Out number two. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. And now, Josh Palacios. And 
and that's inside, off the inside edge and it's one to know. Right through there for a strike. One and one. There's a strike. Looking Two. sharp just a strike away from five shutout innings. The line of the pitch. Three. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Down in order go the Pirates. And they're down 2 nothing. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And here is Sosa to the plate. The pitch. Swings and misses. Going one. You know, these White Sox doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. One thing that really stands out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there. And on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. The 0-2. Slider misses outside. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. And yeah, they'll do it again. Let's go, Sox. Come on, Sox. You can do it. Now, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. One for two. Andrew Benintendi. Ground ball scooped up. Key Brian Hayes. Tosses to first. Home half of the fifth inning. Moving along. Two quick outs. Now batting. First baseman. Andrew. And next to him for the Sox. Andrew Vaughn. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Two down, nobody on. Last half of inning number five. Just that's off the outside edge, three and that's up. ball three. And he walked him on four pitches. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Gavin Sheets. in there strike one bullpen one. action for the Pirates Carmen Majinski getting ready to go Perez also throwing the 0 one foul ball two outs foul ball left side he'll see another Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And the pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. And delivers outside. It's a good take. Up the middle, and that one handled. They take the force out. That ends the inning. The White Sox leave one as they're unable to add to their 2 0 lead. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the DH, Brian Reynolds. The right-hander back to work. 
Reynolds goes six feet three inches 205 pounds and though usually in left field today he's the designated hitter that's down and in a slider missed some guys don't like not being able to play defense because it helps him to stay in the rhythm so for him to be the DH we'll see if he gets a routine together got it started a little too early strike one the pitch and a foul ball Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Got him looking. Throws him with a backdoor slider. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite handed pitcher that you usually see very well, but for some reason he didn't pick it up and it just kind of got into the strike zone late. Gave up on it a little bit early. to lays in the box again takes a strike it really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today good fastball excellent slider but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there one down base is empty pitch ball. misses there and it's one and two one ball two strikes the count Line drive, and that's a base hitter to right. He was all over that one. Now nice back. line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Gonzalez. Nope. Up and in, and that is ball one. Right-hander kicks deals. A little out front there as he swings through it. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. With the tying run at the plate. And we're the top half of the sixth. Ground ball to the right side. And that's just foul. A one two knocks that one away and we'll do it again high in the air out to right jokes puts it away the third baseman number 13 he Brian Hay. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Chris Flexen, done for the afternoon. Two-run ball game as he heads for the dugout, and we'll be back with a new pitcher. Number 33 into the game. And this is an important part of this game. Tight score and still a lot of outs to get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. Key Brian Hayes, the next pirate to hit. Side corner, there's a strike. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Mike Soroka up and throwing. Number 49 warming up as well. That one finds the zone, and the count is 0 and 2. Kicks and deals. And that's downstairs and outside. Ball. 
stays alive. Next pitch is outside. And that just misses. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. Two outs. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. This one chopped up the middle. De Young. Over to first, and the inning is over. Nice work from the White Sox pen. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the White Sox two, and the Pirates nothing. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Carmen Majinski. Pretty tight game, so now they're looking for quality for pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep Carmen the score right where it Majinski. is. Aloy Jimenez now. He's already homered in this game. The left fielder. Jimenez. And here it comes. That one misses. Ball one. Activity in Pittsburgh's bullpen. Ryder Ryan loosening up in case he's called upon by Derek Shelton. Get another one. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. One ball, one strike. All right, Chicago. Misses inside. off the inside at a count two and one. Just missed. Line drive. Hauls it in for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. So up next for Chicago, Paul DeYoung. Pitch is in there, and that is strike one. The shortstop takes the ball. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't up think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty base. textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Lopez stands in now and watches strike one. Well, at that velocity, if that's all you're seeing, 88, you can handle that all day long. Oh. That's what you get in batting practice. But off the velocity of the fastball, that is a very tough pitch to adjust to. Two down, nobody on. Inside, and Boog. that one is inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. That one misses, and that's ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. 3-1 is on the way. Liner to second, and picked on the hop. Fires to first on the run. Not in time. He's safe. Definitely a tough play right there, and he had a little trouble on the transfer. Didn't seem to be able to get the grip and get rid of it, and that made all the difference. Now it's the right fielder, Corey Jolks. Swings through that. All one's the count.
The pitch. Fought off foul. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him way out front of the slur. So one left for the White Sox, but they're on top 2 nothing. Back at guaranteed rate right field. field. Here's the left the fielder, fielder, Jack Sawinski. Jack. Sawinski. And a pitch. Oh. Just missed. Next offering is foul back. The 1-1. One, one. And that one pulled foul. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Joey Bart, the next pirate to hit. Check swing on the first pitch. Appeal down to first. And he held back, according to Larry Buller. One down, base is empty. A little nope. bit high. And now 2-0. 2-0. Oh. Oh. Center field. Benintendi is there. Two away down. Now batting. Now it's the shortstop. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Two outs. The One shortstop ball. takes a ball. That one just misses. Two down, nobody on. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little. And down on strikes he goes. And it's a three up, three down inning. And one, two, three go the Pirates. They trail things here to nothing. Bottom of the seventh. And now the catcher comes up to him. Martin Maldonado. Martin. Maldonado. Let's go, yeah, the right hater back to work. And yeah, there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Right handed reliever. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Back to the top of the now White Sox lineup. Lennon Sosa Lennon. steps to the plate for the White Sox. Sosa. Let's go, White Sox. Yeah. 
And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Oh, well, that's that slurf right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. Fights it off. He'll see another. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. And oh, that's, that's off the inside edge. Now one and two. Wouldn't that's chase that Ball time. Two. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. One down. Andrew Benintendi steps to the plate for the White Sox. Line drive, base hit right center field. Headed for the plate. He'll score easily, and they take a three-run lead. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. One gone runner at first. And now the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. And a good eye there. The 1 0. Ball two. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. And another ball. and misses it's a strikeout you had him out in front which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this known for using the entire field just couldn't sit back long enough on that one now it's the DH Gavin Sheets missed with a changeup ball one pitch and that one sliced foul next offering is in for a strike that's inside Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Left hand hitter waits. On the ground to short. They get the first inning over. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now three nothing. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Mike Sirocco. He last pitched two days ago. Now, here is Michael A. Taylor. The Pirates in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. And that's down it away.
pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1 0 count just not able to square it up the 1 1 is fouled off and it's even up and that one is lifted in the air and it drops in so now back to the top of the order that ball right there landed in what they call the no man's land meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily I mean it's a tough play going back for the shortstop but also for the outfielders trying to come in they got to go a long way as well and now they've got some speed on first so we'll see if they try to get him into motion next to hit Josh Palacio yeah. that one finds the zone and that's strike one. Right into the plate. That breaking ball is in for a strike, and quickly it is nothing at two. The White Sox leading by three, and we're in the top of the eighth. One chase that time. Well, with the Amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt. A good secondary lead. Doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. There's a strike, 95 of that one. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. The 1 1. And a swing and a miss. Knowing that the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here, you've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch, that's a no-no. And a ball and two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. And he grounds one to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. The throw to third. Close play, but in there. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here's Rowdy Telez. On the ground, right side. Sneaks through, base hit. He pulls into second. A run scores. It's a two-run game. No, oh, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Now that sets up a huge at bat in this ball game. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup hitter, Nick Gonzalez. Bounce to the right side. Finds his way through base hit. Fires to the plate. Save. He scores, and it's a one-run game. Big time at bat right there. Comes through, and they're back within a run. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel. Put the ball in play. And just New pitcher for the White Sox, number 49. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Now the third baseman, Key Brian Hayes. Strike one. All in one.
Two on, one out. Ball, that pitch is out. Good miss with that change up away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here on the hitter side. Nice job of laying off that pitch. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, That's an out. three, double play. And the inning is over. So two runs, four hits, no errors, and one left. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the White Sox three and the Pirates two. Back now, now new pitcher on the Ryan. mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Ryder Ryan. Ryder. Should be a good first Ryan. matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. Aloy Jimenez steps to the plate for the White Sox. He's already homered here in this one. And a pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. Oh, one's the count. Swing and a miss. No balls, two strikes. And the righty deals. Got him swinging. Next to Chicago. Paul DeYoung steps to the plate for the White Sox. DeYoung. The shortstop takes a ball. Movement in the ball bullpen. One, no Brent Honeywell Jr. preparing to come on if needed. That missed by a lot. Dow 2-0. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Drifts towards it. He makes the grab. Two down. Up next for Chicago, the second baseman, Nicky. Two Lopez. outs, base is empty. And now here is Nicky Lopez. Fastball for a strike. It's 0 and 1. That one, one almost one. got him. Hey. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Clearly, he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And the White Sox go quietly. Three up, three down for him there. Ninth inning coming up. It's the White Sox three and the Pirates two. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Mario Peralta. A chance at his first save of the year. Well, one run game at the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. As the lefty gets to work. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Fly ball down the line. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car, boo. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. Runner in scoring position. No outs. And here's the catcher, Joey Bart. That clips the corner. So the tying run at second. Yep, Good eye right out. there. Mm -hmm. 
And now the lefty. Nope, outside. Outside low, ball three. With the tying run at second, here at the top of the ninth. Ball four, he walked in, and that'll keep the line moving. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Up next to the party, the shortstop. First and second, no outs, and the batter will be the shortstop. And he lays one down the left side. Slings it across. The runners move up on the sacrifice. Boog, that's a good at bat simply because they found a way to move both runners up a base. Now they're in a really good spot with two runners in scoring position. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Connor Joe, chance to drive in two for him. One out, runners at second and third. Calling for the intentional walk, and that loads up the bases. And the force play is now in order. And now the right fielder, Josh Palacios. Golden opportunity right here. A little surprised. They don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. And fouled off. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next ball pitch record. misses inside, and it's a ball to strike. This is the guy they turn to to get the most important outs of the ball game, but they're going to make him work to get this save. Right side. Base hit, one run is in. And they hold the runner at third. Bases remain loaded here, still only one gone. That's a big time clutch yeah. performance, Boog. Top of the ninth, your team needs you to come through, and you deliver a game tying RBI base hit. Now let's see if they can build on that and get the lead. Put the pressure on the other side heading into the bottom of the ninth. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Garrett Crochet. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Go ahead, run on base. Up next for the Pirates, Brian Reynolds. To the left side, but it is well fouled. One out, base is full. That one finds the zone, and the count is 0-2. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Johnny Brebbia up and loosening in the pen. Hits and misses, it's a strikeout. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two-out at bat coming up now. And here's the first baseman, Rowdy Telez. And that's outside, and that's ball one. Base is loaded, two down. That's in there, and the count even one and one. Left hand batter waits. Right through there for a strike. Two outs. 
Fights that one away, still one and two. And he deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Now into the game, Andrew McCutcheon. He'll be patrolling center field. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter. Tommy Pham, he represents the winning run. Ryan, back to work. And that's outside. On the ground, right side. Dives and he can't hang on. No throw, and they come away without an out. One of the hardest things to do in the game to stay mentally and physically ready for the big opportunity, and he came through for his club right there. Digging in, Martin Maldonado, and a sack bun here, and he picks it up in foul territory. Kicks and fires. Squares, pushes at it, misses it. It's a strike. And it's 0-2. What chase that time. Rarely will you see a pitcher just waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Next offering is down low. Go to lay off that pitch down. And a swing and a miss. And now one away. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. So the batting order turns over. Here's the third baseman, Lennon Sosa. Fastball for a strike. One down, winning run at first. Here in the last half of inning number nine. Fam on the move. Throw, save. Pretty close play on that one. A perfect throw probably gets him. That throw is just a little wide to the third base side of the back, so he had to reach a little bit to get it. Could have been just enough to make the difference there. The winning run on second base. One ball. This Three. one in the dirt. Oh, the throw is wild. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Across is the winning run, and the White Sox walk it off and win it 4-3. Well, it's definitely worse to lose a game like this than it is exciting to win a game like this. They gave away the game with a mistake, and unfortunately, that's going to eat at them for a while. Four three, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.